You want me to put that on my todger? Balls deep. Mm, yeah, baby. Well, no, this isn't going to be an introduction to some kind of porn-related shenanigans. But it actually results in a confluence of two topics about which I'm talking. You ought to be aware that I'm currently analysing Sinead O'Connor. I've placed her under the Tudor scope to make a determination as to what she is. There's a wealth of information as part of that analysis. And she is a complex character. So it's a very useful exercise to help you, not only in terms of understanding more about her, both from her own perspective and the perspective of other people, but also to understand how to analyse that evidence to assist you in your own determinations of the people that are involved with you on a day-to-day -day basis. I, of course, continue to highlight the various antics of Harry's wife as a prominent teaching tool to allow people to understand about narcissism. And it would appear that the worlds of Sinead O'Connor and Harry's wife have clashed. You might not ordinarily think that was something that would occur. But apparently, there was an email that was sent from Sinead O'Connor to Piers Morgan about Harry's wife. A viral screenshot authentically depicted a 2022 email between Sinead O'Connor and Piers Morgan, in which the Irish singer turned down an appearance on his show and accused him of dying to be balls deep in Harry's wife. Snopes, which checks these accusations, has determined that it's true and that this did happen. The article notes, on the 26th of July 2023, Sinead O'Connor's family announced she died. Her fans mourned her, noting her unconventional nature and outspokenness in statements online. One anecdote made the rounds, in particular, highlighting what some believe to be an amusing email between the Irish singer and TV personality Piers Morgan. A screenshot of the purported email by O'Connor, who also went by Shahuda Sarakat after converting to Islam in 2018, was allegedly sent to Morgan after he invited her onto his program shortly after her son Shane O'Connor died in January 2022. The story was true. This was a real email that O'Connor sent to Morgan in early 2022. Referencing criticism against Morgan for his angry and critical comments about Harry's wife, the Duchess of Sussex, the email said, Hi Piers, I think it's best I don't do your show because of the irresistible temptation I would have to point out that you're dying to be balls deep in Harry's wife so bad it's driven you crazy and that your dislike for Prince Harry is down to him being balls deep in her ten times a day. It being the case that if you were ever to get near her, which would never happen, you'd last ten seconds, and then that would be that for ten days. Sincerely, Sinead O'Connor. Well, there's plenty to unpack from this email. First of all, this is a provocative email that has been sent by Sinead O'Connor. Was this sent by a narcissist in order to provoke Piers Morgan into giving a response? Was it done to nullify the threat to control that he posed as a consequence of inviting her onto his programme? Alternatively, might it be that Sinead O'Connor was exhibiting emotional empathy for Harry's wife, that she felt sorry for her as a consequence of the repeated criticisms that came from Piers Morgan. Might it have been that Sinead O'Connor felt that they were unmerited 
and therefore in her usual outspoken fashion, responded to him, and did so in a manner whereby she put him down and belittled him in terms of suggesting that he was envious of Prince Harry being able to slip a crippler to Harry's wife, that he wanted to do so himself, and then belittling him further by suggesting that he wouldn't last very long if he ever got the chance to play hide the sausage with Harry's wife. Well, you can make your own mind up as to Sinead O'Connor's intentions as part of that particular series, and I'm certainly not going to provide interpretation just yet, as we're part way through the analysis from her. Whichever way you look at it, it is a provocative statement that was issued to him and was either done as a consequence of perhaps narcissism or alternatively was done as a means of showing support for Harry's wife born out of some form of emotional empathy stroke dislike of Piers Morgan. As you know from parts passing, Piers Morgan is a narcissist and his criticisms of Harry's wife utilised the truth for the purposes of nullifying the threat to control that she posed. He demonstrated his black and white thinking towards Harry's wife. When she was entertaining him, i.e. dealing with him, responding to him, she was painted white and he was full of praise for her. The moment that in typical Harry's wife fashion, she dropped him because she saw a better prospect, well, ginger bollocks, this wounded Piers and he shifted to black thinking about her and thereafter has never shifted from that. He's not wrong in what he said about Harry's wife, but his motivation has been also driven by his need to nullify the threat to control that she poses each and every time she comes up on the radar. What about Harry's wife? How would she respond to the presence of this email? With delight. She sees Piers Morgan as an enemy, and therefore anybody putting him in down in this form would be approved of by her. Furthermore, she would also relish in the fact that it was being suggested that Piers Morgan wanted to sleep with her. Remember, Harry's wife thinks that every man wants to, because she thinks that she's absolutely stunning, beautiful, and totally desirable to any man that meets her, and therefore to suggest that Morgan's behaviour was driven out of the fact that he was dying to slip her a crippler, and that he can't, and that it's because Harry is the one that's there, would please her no end. Now, it might have been the case that Piers Morgan had amorous designs over Harry's wife, but that would only have been as a consequence of the fact that his narcissism would be driving him down that route to assert control over her. It wasn't the singular purpose that he had an interaction with her. It might also have been that he wasn't interested in that, and he was just courting a friendship with her. But there is a good chance that flirtation on both sides took place, because you have two narcissists coming together. So we have this interesting situation that Sinead O'Connor, status yet to be ascertained, issues a provocative email to Piers Morgan, a narcissist, in relation to another narcissist, Harry's wife. The article continues by explaining that before her death, O'Connor shared a screenshot of the email herself via an old Twitter account, at O'Sinead, writing on March 26, 2022, Piers Morgan's been trying to get me on his breakfast show since Shaney died. Here's what I emailed him in response. Hopefully you'll chortle your tea out of your nose. That Twitter account and tweet were later de deleted for unknown reasons. But they were archived. While the account was unverified, that is, it didn't include a Twitter label that was previously used to confirm accounts belong to the people or organisations they claim to represent, numerous reputable media outlets reported it was indeed an account managed by O'Connor herself. Until April 2023, Twitter, now X, required users to request verification on a voluntary basis, and it appeared that O'Connor didn't go through that process. Another account for O'Connor, at Sinead O'Connor, was linked on her official website as of this writing and appeared to represent her professional persona. In 2021, that account confirmed, at O'Sinead, was her personal account. In addition to the tweet with the email, in 2022, she used the personal account at Oceanady to post about her son, including updates on a search for him after he was reported missing. For example, she criticised government services allegedly responsible for his well-being. She subsequently apologised for calling out those agencies. She also commented on his death, which occurred on January the 7th, 2022, saying he decided to end his earthly struggle. 
On March 26, 2022, just hours after O'Connor tweeted about Morgan, he acknowledged the email in a tweet from his verified account, writing, Hi Sinead, a delight to hear from you, and I did indeed chortle my tea out of my nose. Three things. A. I haven't hosted a breakfast show for a year. B. I actually fancy you, not Harry's wife. Think it's the G.I. Jane hair thing. C. I was so sorry about your son. Hope you're okay. Sinead O'Connor issues challenge fuel to fit towards Piers Morgan. His response is to assert control directly by responding to her email in a tweet. And he does so, as to be expected, with the type of narcissist that he is, with a degree of charm, some cheek, but also denial. So he suggests, actually, I haven't hosted a show, so I'm not sure why you think I'd be asking you to go on a show. And then... He also asserts control over Harry's wife because she's brought up on his radar by Sinead O'Connor's email. And thus he asserts control directly by addressing Sinead O'Connor and indirectly by smearing Harry's wife by saying, actually, I fancy you, Sinead, and not her. He also doles out some false compassion as a consequence of expressing his sorrow at the death of her son. The article rounds off by explaining that at the time, Harry's, uh, Morgan faced criticism over his numerous tirades against Harry's wife, particularly following her March 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey about life with the royal family in the UK. During that interview, Harry's wife said she dealt with thoughts of self-harm, and afterwards, Morgan said he didn't believe her. Many people made fun of Morgan for his reaction to the interview, saying that he was likely obsessed with the Duchess of Sussex. O'Connor was seemingly among them with her email. However... He isn't obsessed with her. It's simply the case that because she's prominent, she appears on his radar regularly, and that's why he's moved to criticise her. He uses the truth of her poor behaviour to do so. And because he's a media noteworthy individual, his responses are regularly reported on. Accordingly, we have an interesting confluence of interests here between Sinead O'Connor, Piers Morgan, and Harry's wife that all makes for a useful and interesting analysis. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.